Welcome back to Thin Blue Whiskey. Mike and Jay here on a new segment. Where I came up with this idea because, well, this was the real reason behind the idea. <laughs> because I hate unpopular opinion here. I'm, I'm going to assume amongst a lot of people, but I hate Angel's Envy. They're regular bourbon. But do you like it? I I haven't had it in a long time. Oh, God. I, I didn't have it ever. When it first came out, I got a bottle because I was like, oh, it's cool. The bottle's cool. It's got wings on it. <laughs> and then I found the rye, and I'm like, oh, this rye is really good. Then I mixed the rye with lemonade, and then I got kicked out of every bourbon party ever. Yeah. So, so we came up with this uh, store picks showdown, mm -hmm. and um, I'm hoping to God this store pick Angel's Envy is way better than the regular Angel's Envy. Stay tuned and we'll let you know. Store pick showdown. Mm -hmm. Angel's Envy. This is the Gomer's of Kansas City uh, store pick. It is 107 proof versus 86.6. Yeah. That's gonna bring some pain. It is a fresh crack. Yeah. I don't know if that matters to anybody. We didn't blind them because the proof difference alone would be kind yeah. of a, a shocker. So, God, I just had this last night. I'm so sorry. So, shout out to my buddy Scott. Uh, I work with Scott. He also is not a fan, and he graciously let me borrow this bottle for this very review. <laughs> so I did not have to go and purchase Are this one. You gonna open your bottle? I'm not. I don't want to open your bottle. I don't stuff. really care. Hell, I do. Yeah, that's all right. That's yours. Uh, you you know, you've been hitting. You've been hitting the. The really good ones lately. If this one is really good, at least it gets to stay here. But you know, given the track record, it's gonna <laughs> suck too, and it's gonna still have to stay here. It's just gonna be spicy suck. We were talking last night, and we're we're always trying to come up with ideas, and we came up with this idea about uh, I regret buying this bottle. Oh yeah, that's coming. I hope this one doesn't I make it pour, on. I, I short pour these for you so you can oh, enjoy it a little bit. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> God damn that. Oh, God. Heavy yeah, handed. Actually, that's pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Mm. Wow, you can okay. really tell the difference. Oh, already, you can tell the difference in the glass. Look at that. Holy cow. That's like honey to. That's like a like a syrup, it's slightly like a, dehydrated, very dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Huge difference in color for sure. All right, so I'm interested to see. So, how long has it been since you've had the regular? Oh God! Like it first came out when it was what forty bucks a bottle or forty five okay. bucks a bottle back when it because it goes up a little bit. I can't wait to see what you have to say about it. I get not like. There's hardly anything on this nose. Like, so that's exactly what I thought last night. So I tried this last night I am in preparation. Trying to get something out of this in, thing. In preparation for this very video, it actually smelled decent on the nose. I wasn't put off. Now drink it. It, like, it, I'm. I know. I. I have a feeling. I know where you're gonna go. You know what? What I get out of this thing that pink bubblegum, that chalkiness is what I get out of this. It just kind of. All right. I'll give. You, I'll see you. I'll see you the chalkiness. It's kind of weird. For me, it, it's extremely sharp to me. For eighty six proof, I would tell you that this drinks way. 
above that and not in a good way. But it's quick. It's a quick hit, sharp, and then it's gone. It's super thin on the palate. Mm, it's, yeah. It just hits you with this, like, sharp. And, and I, I'm i envisioning your, you were going to say yep. grassy. Mm -hmm. Cut grass, bag, <laughs> yeah. scraping from the other side of the it's lawnmower. But it's not green grass. No, it's that's brown like, grass. That's it like is. the stuff that you, the mildewy stuff you scraped off the bottom, like, because you, you forgot to clean it before the season was over. This this to me is well, right now in Kansas, uh, we don't have grass. It's all it's dormant. It did. My yard doesn't have grass anyway because it's a shit yard. But uh, what's there is the dormant Bermuda, mm -hmm. brown, chalk, brown and chalky, and yes, yeah, it's it's extremely earthen, grassy, sharp. I with love... a hint, with a hint of light caramel or light honey. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, there's some wafting of like the bourbon notes in there. There's some brown sugar and some caramel and some honey and a touch of vanilla and a little barrel spice. But it's a it's you a... have to just you have to wait for it. And then when it's there, it's every note is quick. None of yes. it stays longer than a second. And it's then once it's gone, you're like, wait, I don't. I don't know if I want to go back to get more of that in the next sip. It doesn't leave other things I like at all. It doesn't leave anything. Yeah. Like it. Yeah, it's it's gone. All right. Please, God, be better. It already smells delicious on the nose. Comparatively, they put a gallon of water in that one. This smells. This is butterscotch and maple syrup this is definitely not as sweet as the rye but it has some of those characteristics she's got some legs too they're tall legs and they're hairy yeah <laughs> long legs they're hairy that okay that is mm -hmm. that's enjoyable and a lot of maple caramel brown sugar uh not brown sugar um Syrup, butterscotch. That's good. It looks good. It smells good. Please be decent. It's way better. And what? Where that's already gone? What? Ten seconds after a sip, mm -hmm. that goes. At least there's something still there. That's. I mean. Part of that's the proof kind of hanging out, but it's not sharp. Mm -mm. It's it. The regular Angel's Envy is sharper. It's a. Uh, it's it feels hotter than this one. You take a sip of the regular, and you would think, "Man, that's hot. That that's higher proof." And then it goes away so fast. You're like, "No, nah, there's no way that can be very high proof." It it's deceiving. It's, yeah. This one, I don't even know what I'd use that in if I had it. You can't nothing. It, Nothing. Flavor some water with it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Use it like some mio. <laughs> yeah. That's about. That's about all it'd be good for. I can't. I, uh, this is our opinion. Mine is a little more negative, I think, than even yours. I don't think you think is that that is as bad as what I do. I don't like that at all. I won't buy a bottle. Like, I think after the first bottle I bought, it just kind of hung out on the shelf empty just because it looked cool, and then I chucked it. When I found the rye, I never stopped. I don't think I ever bought another bottle of their bourbon again. This is, okay, so second sip on this one. You get a little bit of the oak. It feels, it's a little woody. Yeah, it's, 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 it's some it, of those, I, some of that, just, it's not offensive. It's not off-putting, but it, there's a little bit of, if you were, chewing on a barrel stave if if i was going to introduce somebody to some higher proof whiskeys i'd probably send this one it's not abrasive yeah it, sure it's hotter proof wise but the irregular angels envy is much more i guess bitter aggressive it's yeah. sharper mm -hmm. so this right this higher proof is delicious on this one and it's not in the least bit abrasive no outside of you get a little 
a spice and a little proof, but then it, like you said, it just kind of turns to oak, some spice, it stays kind of sweet, tapers off slowly and just leaves a little sweet and oak yeah. as it goes. It's really, yeah. it's really good. And it's when, when I say you're like, you're chewing on a barrel stave, you're not chewing on the charred barrel side. You're chewing on like the <laughs> outside part where it's maybe where there's a little bit of the angel's share that has seeped through the cracks and maybe you take a little nibble off the edge of the oak stave and you get a little of the uh, angel's share like an oak seepage. Stave, like an oak stave cookie. Yes. <laughs> God, I love cookies. Dude, we should, we should make some cookies like caramel and other fun stuff and then make like a, bur a bourbon glaze for them and like call them like oak stave cookies. You can toast the underside of them. Yeah. I've, I got a torch. We can just toast it up like the yeah. underside of a barrel stave she just get really drunk one time start baking things yeah i don't think my wife would have a problem with that <laughs> all right so that's uh 50 no. bucks now it's 50 bucks between 45 and 55 okay. depending on what season you're in in the year okay uh i think that one was 70 which isn't bad for a store pick but I mean, if you're if you're asking me, would I pay twenty five dollars extra for that versus that? Absolutely, yep. mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. is way better than that crap. I mean, it, we should probably blind it against some Elijah Craig and Larceny barrel. Proofs. Oh, see oh, what, see what it pulls. See what it pulls for some. You some know what proof. else happens to be a hundred and seven proof? God, that is. Yeah, no, now yeah. I know it's a weeder, but it, it's the same proof, yeah, it's a, and it is always. You know, I think the Weller One Hundred and Seven is most typically regarded as generally the most rounded, well liked of the Weller line. I mean, Old Rip Ten is also one hundred seven proof. You know anybody with an Old Rip Ten? Maybe I may know a guy. Maybe. Hmm. Well, I don't know. May have a battle of the 107 proofs yeah. coming up here. A bunch of old folks running around. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there, there's the first rendition. We've got some stuff coming. Uh, one of them <clears throat> in the future. We've got a 1792 full proof, just regular 1792 mm -hmm. store uh, full proof store pick. Uh, so maybe some of the bullet frontiers if we can find some. I really think a good one to do would be the oh god the the Riegers, which is such a delicious whiskey. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> remember that? <laughs> I regret buying this yeah, bottle. That, that <laughs> if I wasn't a huge Jayhawks fan, this is poison. Yeah. This I'm telling. Have you ever had that? I I have not had that one, but I've had I've had like should, do the, we? I've had like three of their other whiskeys. We want to make hate, this video a little bit longer. I hated all of them. Or do we want to do this on our own uh, on a different video? We should probably find a couple other Riegers and throw them in there because uh, they're terrible. No, we, this needs to be a standalone review of this. Let's do it by itself then. Let's just trash talk it. It's I mean it's give it an honest review. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rieger. This, I'm not. I'm not kidding you. I think that that when KU won the national championship that year, they went. They it was unexpected, and Rieger thought, "Here, let's make a buck. We got to throw something out there. We just got to go pick something and get it out and slap this badass and they logo it on, their, on it." Their twenty dollar bottle it's, of Rieger Reserve. It is. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know. I truthfully, I, I've never had it, but I'm gonna guess it's better than that. It's also bad. That is the worst shit swill I've ever drank in my life, and it's awful. We can throw them in the regret pile. It's it's absolutely going in the I regret buying this, and it's not cheap. It's seventy some dollars. It's seventy five bucks for a bottle for for a KU. We kind of got off the topic here. Sorry. We're doing we're doing store pick reviews against their non store pick counterpoints. And the Angels and V store pick is much, much better. Great job, Gomers. Yeah, Gomers did a good job with that pick. Good job, Gomers. 
Thank God it wasn't as bad as that one. <laughs> I just think I think Penelope is just not that good. So your state of Texas pick was okay. It was delicious. It was really good. Gomer's failed at this one. Uh, I still maintain G Gomer's. If you are watching, if somebody with Gomer's is watching this video, please tell me who picked this barrel because I think you. I think it was you that said. Whoever picked this, it almost seems like that when the when the Penelope rep came into the store to do the the pick that day, that whoever normally picks the barrels Wasn't was there. busy yeah. or was was gone, and they just said, <laughs> "Hey Bob, go go pick our barrel." And Bob, who has no experience in picking, who drinks gin and tonics or hot toddies all the time or vodka Red Bulls, or, yeah, yeah, they said, "Well, this one's good. It's not good." Yeah. It's not good. And I would love to know more details on this Penelope Barrel Strength Toasted Series that was picked by Gomers in Kansas City. I would love to know more behind this bottle because it's awful. Yes. My opinion. My opinion only. I'm sure there's people that love it and I don't know why. And I would love to see, love to have some comments as hey. to why people think that that's a good bottle too. Or if they're local, we can, you know... Get them in here and torture them. and I mean, ask them why they like it. Yeah. That'd be cool. It would be fun. What about that? I can't pick out anything in there that somebody would say, man, that's really good. Just like the KU Riegers. Mm -hmm. It's the most awful thing I've ever... It's the most awful thing I've ever had in my mouth. I have hey. that in there. We'll see you next time. Right here. Thin Blue Whiskey. We'll see you guys.